With me is Ross Perot Jr. He's the chairman of the Perot Group Investments include oil and gas and large land holdings uh, as well. Hillwood, the Texas-based real estate. Let's start with oil and gas. The price is going up. Now, whether that's, you know, for whatever reason, that is a benefit to the oil community here and it makes non-traditional fracking better value and, and comes back on stream. Absolutely. I mean, Richard, these prices bring the oil industry back in Texas. This is a free market state. Price comes back. You see people go to work. The problem now is with shortage of fracking crews, shortage of labor, like we have throughout industries in the United States. So it'll take a little while, but you'll see the oil production come back in the United States that should help stabilize global pricing. The problem with oil in fracking is that it is totally market driven. So the moment the price drops as it did in 2020, it becomes unproductive. We saw bankruptcies, ancillary right. companies went out of business. Now that's almost impossible for an oil industry to plan around. It is, but this is what the entrepreneurs do. This is what the risk capital does. When it's time to drill, we drill. But then in Texas, we have a tendency to overdo it. Too much money comes in, oil price will drop, great for the consumer, bad for the industry. We slow down, price comes back. But now, Richard, it's the politics. You've got that negative political tone on oil and gas that's keeping money out. In a normal market, hundreds of billions would be pouring into the industry. We get oil, we'd have affordability. You're now going to have expensive oil for a while because it's going to take a while to get the industry back. And do you think, I mean, oil and gas, is it a dirty, dirty phrase? Not Again, at all. politically, Not at all. I mean, politically. Well, maybe certain politicians worry about it, but you look what's going on. We need oil and gas. We need clean oil and gas produced in the Western world where you have environmental standards. So that's what you have in Texas are good standards. We have good oil. We're going to need oil for another 30 or 40 years, Richard. 100 million barrels a day is what the world's going to need. I heard a lovely phrase to describe what's going on here, the Texodus. Now, this is people coming from California and the Pacific Northwest, even the East Coast coming, coming to Texas. Land prices have gone through the roof. You've just done some very big deals yes. in the billions. Yes, yes. This is the high growth region now in the United States. We're adding 375 people a day into Dallas-Fort Worth. We'll pass Chicago in 10 years to be the third largest metropolitan area. New York, LA, and Dallas-Fort Worth. In Richard, what makes us unique there are no barriers to growth. We can grow in 360 degrees. We're adding millions of people, and we'll continue to add millions of people every decade. Is there a bubble build, building up in here in property here? Not really. I mean, we've been, we're better behaved this time. The, oh. the, the, bank, the, banks, oh. the banks have been kept disciplined in the market, and so we're not overbuilt. And right at this moment, all the product types are full. I lived through the SNL crisis, and <laughs> I saw... I saw the SNL. a crisis. Now there, How that about that for that old, old history? I remember the <laughs> SNL crisis and the bailouts, and then 2008 That's and right. the bailouts. That's right. But remember, in 08, Texas wasn't bad. We were not that overbuilt in 08. We went down a little, but we were the first back in the recovery of the 08 crisis. Your late father, of course, was highly involved in politics in that sense. Um, but it gave you a feel for the wider picture of what's happening right. in this country at the moment. Right. Um, our viewers are in every country. They look at the US gridlock. They look at this inability to even agree on which side of the seat to sit on. Is, is it that bad now in America? Well, maybe in certain parts of America, but where I live in Dallas-Fort Worth, it's not bad. I mean, this area works well together. It's very positive, very optimistic. And like every conversation, you know, you can find 80% of the material you'll agree on. There's 20% you might not agree on. But this country is very strong, very resilient, and you'll see the American people continue to come back and continue to build this country. And I'm very optimistic. We invest all over the world. Right. We continue to put more and more money in the U.S. every year. And if you had to tell me the other areas of the world that you like the look of, I suppose I also want to know what you don't like the look of. I mean, but where do you like the look of at the moment? We have a great team in India. We've been India. in India for 30 years. We're part of a fabulous business called Access Health. Mm -hmm. Over 20,000 employees in India. We have a huge demand, huge growth. We have a wonderful Indian team, so we're very pro-India. Dallas or Fort Worth? Dallas, Fort Worth is somewhere I'll have to work no, out. No, 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 it's this way. It's over it's that this way. way. Okay, that's like, no. that's asking, well, who's your favorite child? I mean, I love Dallas, but also I love Fort Worth. And I grew up in both cities. 
But our largest project alliance is in Fort Worth. That's 27,000 acres. Oy. So we are very, Oy. very pro Fort Worth, but we invest a lot in Dallas too. It's been wonderful to have you, sir. Richard, you're great. Thank Thanks you for being so here. Much. And we'll go flying next time. Hey! That's what you got to do. That's, that, that's a, I'm, I'm going to hold him. That. Normally okay. I'm the one making promise of where I'm visiting, but I've got a promise there to go Good. flying. We'll get in the helicopter and fly around. Helicopter. Perfect. Excellent. Thank yeah, well, you. I'll let you fly. We'll check your hands out, see how good you are. <laughs> thank Richard, you, thank you. Thank yes, you. sir. Appreciate thank it. You.